Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my Monday musings or Monday um, messages. And if, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Rebecca, and I use homeopathy and QTT personal development, development methods, coaching and mentoring to help you and your family to be as healthy and as happy as you can possibly be and stay that way. So what are my Monday messages about? Well, basically, I pop in here every Monday at uh, 10 o'clock at the moment, and I give you what I hope will be some kind of inspiring thought or idea or concept or something that you can focus on for the week and that will help to give you support uh, or inspiration for creating your best year yet. So today I thought that I would talk about mentoring and actually for those of you who are already listening and I can't see who you are today for some reason. Um, if you are, then you might want to just let me know that you can hear me. Um, so just give me a, a thumbs up or a heart or um, a comment even. That would be lovely. Um, so I just want to make sure that you can hear me. So I don't know why I can't see who you are. No, just let me do that. No, no, that's not working. OK, so hopefully you can hear me, so I shall carry on. So today we're going to talk about mentors. And there have been a few things this week, actually, or over the last couple of weeks that have put me in mind of my mentors and uh, mentoring in general. Um, the first one is that I... For about a decade now, um, I've been supervising and mentoring students of homeopathy from the college in Cork and Dublin. And I help them by supporting them in their final case studies that they have to submit um, at this time of year. So they're all racing a bit to hit the deadlines to, to um, in order to graduate. So pretty much every day last week, um, I was talking to a student of homeopathy. So it sort of kept me in mind of my role as their mentor, if you like. Um, so my role which is along with the definition of a mentor, is that um, as a practising homeopath of some years myself, that obviously I have expertise in that area. I've also been trained in how to um, ask the right questions so that people can access their own skills and resources. Um, but also I'm I'm qualified in that area to, to give advice, obviously. So, and that's really the definition of a mentor is, is somebody who has expertise in a particular area, who, <clears throat> excuse me, who you find inspiring or who you have respect for or who helps you to... Um, get through any problems to to be able to access um, solutions and um, be inspired by and those that relationship doesn't have to be um, with somebody who's older than you it can be you know age is immaterial really it's all down to the expertise of your mentor so um, I've had a few mentors myself over the years and there were kind of three who really stand out for me uh, above the others and the biggest one for me is in my homeopathy and was actually my original teacher of homeopathy the principal of my college that I trained at fantastic man called Robert Davidson um just i he was unique, really. There was nobody like him. And he changed my life. He really opened my eyes to so many things. Um, and he taught homeopathy and practiced homeopathy in a very unique, open, um, inclusive, engaging 
practical way. And whenever I get stuck, whenever I have a very difficult case or perhaps I'm not feeling at my best and I feel a little bit overwhelmed, then I still, to this day, would ask myself, well, what would Robert do? Um, and I go back to his notes. Sadly, he's not with us anymore. But I still, of all the teachers that I had, and I had some very good ones, he is the one that I go back to time and time again. So he is my ongoing mentor in homeopathy. Good morning, F. I'm just going to wave to you. There you go. Um, and I'm also blessed, and Ev knows who I'm talking about here, um, to have a um, very much alive um, mentor in my self-development, my personal self-development, and in my business as well, actually. And she lives in uh, Limerick, and she's somebody that I would um, – go to on both for her teachings and on a personal level on an ongoing basis um, so she would be very much uh, an active mentor in my life and finally um this week i was brought to mind um, a, a mentor that i have in my one of my hobbies which is oil painting and that is a wonderful local teacher daniel who's an artist and i took up painting two years ago I think it was after a long long gap and he is really uh, inspiring as a teacher he's also very very good at coaching me and and the whole class to gently just keep pushing out of my comfort zone and expanding what my comfort zone is all the time so I'm being encouraged by him to try new things, new techniques, new colours, new types of paints, um, new subject matters. Just all the time, he's gently supporting me, he's inspiring me, um, and yeah, he's my he's my mentor in my in my painting. And all of those three things and several other incidents over the last few days got me thinking about the importance of having people like this in our lives, people who inspire us and who um, give us ideas, who actually can form part of our navigation system on an ongoing basis, really. Um, sounds kind of weird, but but if you if you are a bit lost and a bit overwhelmed and a bit indecisive and you just, you know, can't see the wood for the trees, which we all get like um, from time to time. It's good to be able to either talk to somebody who can help you through that or refer to their teachings or just ask yourself, well, what would they do in this situation? So I'm willing to bet that you've probably all got mentors yourselves um, and maybe you just haven't thought of them in that way. Um, you know, a mentor can be uh, a public figure as well. I mean, it can be even somebody who inspires you to dress in a certain way or who whose makeup you like or whose hair you like or somebody who always seems very, you know, poised and calm and relaxed and anything at all like that. Anything that makes you think, oh, I wouldn't mind being like that. I wouldn't mind um, having some of what she has or what he has and incorporating it in my own life. Somebody who helps to keep you on track, really. Um, so if you have anybody in your life like that, then I thought it would be good this week to First of all, acknowledge that to yourself. You don't have to acknowledge it to the other person necessarily, but also to say thank you to, you know, for inspiring you and for, for keeping you on track. And again, you could do that publicly if you, if you wanted to. You can even go to the person and say, thanks very much for everything that you do for me. Um, or I would love to hear if you could think of one mentor um, that you'd like to thank then do pop it in the in the comment box below um so ev um you've probably got one of the same mentors that 
that I have, but if there's anybody else, then, um, you know, maybe in photography you have a particular mentor, apart from your lovely husband, of course. Um, so let me know and um, just focus, I think, this week on the people that inspire us and the people that um, keep us going. And I should say that these are not, when I'm talking about public figures um, or, or private figures, actually, this is not about feeling envious. It's not about um, thinking, oh, I wish my life was like that, or I wish I looked like that, or, you know, feeling some kind of lack. That's not what I'm talking about at all. It, it's the people who are capable of keeping you going when you're just a little bit lower than you normally are and that help you to focus and get clarity and um, who inspire you really in a good positive way. So have a think about that and that's the focus of my week's messages to you. And if you are interested in working with me on a mentoring level in anything you like, um, then do pop onto my website. That's www.rebeccaatkinson.com. And the address is in the, the post somewhere around this video. Um, and you can register for a free call um, and we can have a chat about how I can help you. And that can be mentoring, it can be coaching or it can be homeopathy. So Ev is saying... Sue Bryce. Oh, I don't know her. I'm going to I'm going to look her up and um, see what sort of photography. Is she a photographer? I assume she's a photographer. Um, I will look up her work because I love photography and I particularly love Ev and Keith Woodard's work. So um, I could say I could say that they are both kind of mentors for, for me in, in appreciating photography. So there you go. Um, so, um, let me see, have I remembered everything? Yeah, I think that's, that's it really. It's just a, just a quick reminder to thank the people who inspire us and who, who give us ideas and keep us on track. So let me know any mentors that are in your life and maybe give them a quick thank you in the comment box below. I hope you have a really inspiring and ideas full week and I shall see you next week around 10 o'clock for next week's Monday musings. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.